Hello there. Today I will be reviewing End of Watch. Now, End of Watch is um, a really unique film. I, I didn't know what to expect going into it. I'd heard a few things and I was told to um, take a look at it. And I'm glad I did. Um, better late than never. Um, yeah, it's from a few years ago. And, and the film has a really unique feel to it. Um, and that's due to the documentary style um, uh, vision they used for it. It, it, it. it takes you on this journey of... Um, uh, well, mainly two cops on the beat um, in America, and and it, and and some of the, the the POV shots and the camera person um, following these um, these policemen on the job um, really gives you a sense of like a like an actual documentary is being filmed, and these guys are showing you around the place and taking you on a journey. But then it it it's not. Um, it's not a, uh, you know, like a clean film or, or shows these cops in a light that's like, you know, superheroes or they could do no wrong. It's very, um, I imagine, somewhat honest and, and, and real. And it shows like the real human side to, to cops, um, not just, you know, the, the, the shimmered um, Hollywood approach to, to, to figures that we've seen in the past. Um, and that's that's um, credit to Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena who who lead the film. Um, you know, both funny in their own way and and comedic, and can then bite the scene and and take on this uh, more grittier approach. Yeah, so you get the um, you get a, it's very atmospheric, especially with the, um, the the documentary style camera work, and there are scenes where. It feels like there are found footage being used, um, which like takes you out of the film, and it, it not in a bad sense, in a sense of are you um, are you watching like a real found footage or or are you watching a Hollywood movie? It's it, it's great in that sense. Yeah, again, it's hard hitting sometimes, especially towards the end, and it gets it gets quite intense. Um, yeah, it gets really tense. Whereas before, like there were comedic moments, and when you have Michael Pena. You, you come to expect like a really um, heartfelt, uh, uh, sometimes really funny uh, film, but this film really, really goes for it towards the ending. Um, and it leads up to it right with, 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 with the tone of the film. Um, yeah, just looking at the notes here. Yeah, again, it shows real, real, real people who put their lives on the line to um to fight crime, um, but not in a not in a uh, you know like a superhero sense, in a very honest sense. Um, yeah, Gyllenhaal and Pena, they're great actors. Um, I highly rate their performances um, in other films, and again in this, um, you know, I. I I wouldn't have said I wouldn't have said pair, pair those two together, um, but they have done a film together and it does work. I mean, you know, it's um, they bounce off each other relatively well. Um, they're unorthodox. I mean, you know, it goes from um, they go from fist fighting criminals in their houses to saving burning children. Um, sorry, saving um, children from burning buildings. Um, uh, to shoot out, to drug bars, so it, it it it's quite a funny film in that in that sense um, that they do a bit of everything and with comedic and with brutality and it's yeah it's cool. Um, like I said, it's not your usually um, usual Hollywood take on this particular genre. Yeah, Jun Hall is an actor who really embodies the roles he takes. We all we all understand that, and this one was no different. Um, Pena, Pena's a joy to watch. Um, yeah, overall, it's a film... Um, it's cool in a way that, you know, not every film can be this spectacular thriller or dramatic enterprise. So this film is a, is one where you could you could miss a few scenes, you could get up, you could come back. And I know that, that, may, be, that may sound wrong in a film... Um, cinephile way... Um, but I, I think that, that, that plays to the to the strengths of this film where 
you know, it's a, you could sit back and watch it and, and laugh and and then also take something really, really, um, really away from it that matters. Um, so I, I think that plays to the to the uniqueness of the film. Um, the Anna Paxson actually stars in this. She doesn't have a a, a great a great big role, but um, the the scenes she's in are pretty cool. Um, the slower scenes um, drive this drive the story forward, but they're not my favourite scenes. Um, again, that you come to expect that from a Gyllenhaal and Pena performance, where you know when they're when they're really biting the scene, that's when you. That's when you when that's when you like them. Um, yeah, it dares itself to be bold and different, and and that's what I like about it. Um, the ending, the ending, um, the ending, ending. So the ending after the really um, quite sad and dramatic uh, death of 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 Pena's character. The um, I think the final scene was not needed where Gillian Hall's character survives. I think you know where they were at with with. Where we thought they were both uh, dead was was that was a you know it was a sad moving end to the film but I think that's where they could have left it um, it, it felt more unsettling with both the leads now gone um, so there it is um, a film that speaks on the harsh brutality of cops um, versus criminals um, led by two brilliant actors so take a look thank you.